Hi, I'm Kevin, a product manager here at ChartHop. Today, I'll walk you through ChartHop's integrations with ATS platforms such as with Greenhouse, Leper, or Jobbyte. With ChartHop as the headcount plan, the ATS integrations help you transition from headcount planning in ChartHop to recruiting in the ATS and back to ChartHop once the hire has actually been made. Given this, there are two key data flows or parts of the integration that I'll demonstrate today. The first, when you're creating an open position in ChartHop and are ready to start actively recruiting for that role, ChartHop will automatically create a corresponding requisition in the ATS with all of the matching information. So this not only saves you time, but also prevents any costly mistakes as the integration will ensure that the systems, ChartHop and ATS are in sync with one another. Secondly, once you hired a candidate for that position, will automatically create an incoming new hire to fill that open job in ChartHop, pulling in information from the ATS based off of their offer letter, such as compensation, contact information, and start date. Let's hop over to ChartHop. In this example, I've used the ChartHop scenario to propose a new job for a go-to-market sourcer in sales. ChartHop scenarios such as the one I'm proposing here help you create better headcount plans by staging open positions or changes for other people to review and approve before merging them into the official headcount plan. As the person proposing this plan, I've been put in relevant information about this role, such as their department, the location, the proposed base, the hiring manager, the priority of recruiting, even the rec, rec code for our finance team members to track and for budgeting reasons, and the plan start date of April 12, 2023. So you'll see that this is a new open role for Q1 of this headcount plan, which means that we need to actively start recruiting now. So given this, I'm gonna go ahead and actually mark this job as active before merging it to primary. In order to trigger the ATS integration from ChartHop to the ATS, two things have to happen. First, the open job must be merged to primary. And second, the open roles must be set to active. Given that this has already been set to active, once we merge this headcount plan scenario into the official headcount plan, also called primary, we'll see that the integration will automatically create a requisition in the ATS shortly thereafter, greenhouse in this example. Great. So we'll go ahead and merge this scenario to primary. And what you'll go ahead and see is that now in the org chart and under the data sheet, under Audrey Yao, we now have an open position for go-to-market sourcer role. So I'll go ahead and refresh. You'll see under Audrey, now we'll have a new open position for the go-to-market sourcer sales with a planned start date of April, 2023. This now gives the entire organization visibility into the state of hiring and plan roles so that they have a better understanding of what the future state of the organization will look like. You'll see that previously this role did not exist in Greenhouse. And what I what happens is when I refresh, that this role has now been created automatically in Greenhouse. You also see that the information from the chart hop job automatically fed into Greenhouse, into this requisition, such as the department, which is the people department, the office, which is New York, and the finance rec code ID, which is sourcer one. In this example, over the next few weeks, we've interviewed and successfully granted Sam Jones an offer. Today, he actually accepted the offer, meaning that we, meaning that we need to hire Sam Jones into this role. So we'll add in relevant for contact information about Sam Jones. So I'll just go ahead and do that. Creating the candidate in the greenhouse side, we'll add in relevant information about Sam, such as the name, email, and of course the source, which has ended up being a job page on our website. Great, now that this person has been added into our Greenhouse instance, what we'll go ahead and do is create an offer in Greenhouse that matches what he verbally accepted to. So this will be into the opening for a planned start date of actual April 15th a base salary of 65,000 USD. Go ahead and create that offer for him. 
Great, so we're gonna go ahead and mark Sam Jones is hired. Given that this was a uh, ad hoc role created in Greenhouse, we'll actually go ahead and close this role given that we've already hired Sam Jones into this job. Great. We'll see in a few moments that Sam Jones has been hired into this role in Charhop and is now filling the Charhop job with all of the relevant information from our offer letter, such as the plan start date and the salary. So if we go back to the work chart, you'll see that this go-to-market sourcer sales role has now been hired by Sam Jones with the start date, as we mentioned, of April 15th. If we go to Sam Jones' profile in Charhop, you actually see that we automatically pulled in all of the information from the greenhouse offer letter. So for example, we pulled in the actual start date, the personal email, and the mobile number. This allows us to not only save time, but also make sure that information in Charhop accurately reflects what was actually offered in the recruiting process. Of course, we've used Greenhouse in this example to demonstrate the ATS integration. Charhop also has integrations with Lever and Jotbyte ATS systems that work in the same manner. As always, please feel free to reach out if you have any questions and we'll be happy to help or get back to you.